Hello DSP enthusiasts, through this video we hope to introduce you to a concept in signal processing which has heavy applications in the audio and image signal processing domain, Dither. Now what is Dither? In essence, Dither is the process of adding noise to randomize quantization error. To understand why we need Dither, we need to delve into two important concepts, bit depth and quantization error. Before going into bit depth, we will look at a familiar concept, quantization. To represent analog signals which can be understood by a machine, we need to convert these signals into digital domain where it is represented by a finite number of bits. This is called quantization. Bit depth is the number of bits required to represent a sample which in other terms can be said as the resolution of each sample. From the diagram we can see different number of bits which can be used to represent the amplitude of the signal. We define this, this selection as the signal's bit depth. Now a problem with this compact representation is that it may not accurately represent our original signal. In an audio signal, this can create a significant difference in the perceived sound quality. This difference can be represented technically in terms of quantization error. Quantization error is simply the difference between an analog signal and its quantized representation. We'll see further why quantization error forms an integral part of the concept of dithering. Now we can ignore the effect of quantization error for signals with high amplitude and frequency, but for those with low amplitude and low frequency, we observe that the QE is highly correlated with the original signal, as can be seen in the diagram. To decorrelate this error, we add white noise to the original signal before sampling. This is nothing but dithering. Confused? Let's visualize first. Spread your fingers in front of your eyes and try to see the object in front of you. You won't be able to see the entire object. Now in the same position, try and shake your hand quickly and observe the same object. You will notice that you could see the object entirely but with an effect of blurriness. This is what dithering is about. How does dither function? you add white noise to the least significant bit in the signal before quantization. In the given formula, the delta is the quantization step size and W is the word length of the signal. This delta will determine the range in which our dither values lie. So hopefully by now you have become familiar with the basics of dithering. Let's listen to some examples to further solidify our concepts and end this section on a high note. Here we have the original signal. Now here is the 4-bit quantized signal. As we can see, it's very unpleasant to hear. And whereas this 4-bit dithered signal is much better in so sound. This is all the time we can spare for now, but for people interested in knowing more about Dither, please check out the links in the description box below. Thank you.